My fellow Americans, I'm speaking to you tonight from behind the Resolute desk in the Oval Office. This is not the first time that we've known that he's in cognitive decline. Mm -hmm. He's known it. President Joe Biden, he has officially, officially stepped down. I don't know how to communicate to people how fucked we are. <laughs> how fucked up this is. <laughs> so who has been running the country? I think the American people are in an abusive relationship with the political system. Let's do it. It's another episode, and boy, has America felt interesting in the last couple weeks. I think that's a fairly neutral thing to say, but I think we can all agree. It's like, it hasn't been boring. <laughs> it, it went from like uh, Showtime to HBO. Uh, this guy. President Joe Biden, who has been our president for the last couple years, he has officially, as of whatever date, officially stepped down. Has this ever happened? Like, I don't think... That a president dropped out mid-race because of dementia? <laughs> Shall we listen to Joe Biden's uh, address let's, let's to the people? It. Let's see what let's he's got to say. What you got to say, Joey? My fellow Americans, I'm speaking to you tonight from behind the Resolute desk in the Oval Office. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. But in the defense of democracy, I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. That's the best way to unite our nation. You can literally see the teleprompter. Oh! All right, hold on. I, I got it. I got it. I can't, dude. I can't <laughs> with this shit, dude. Like, I just feel so frustrated. <laughs> like, we'll get into the whole chronology of things, but mm -hmm. I think the, the deciding moment, there are two deciding moments. Mm -hmm. One is when the whole country saw that Biden is not mentally fit. Yep. The second moment was seeing Trump actually demonstrate the antithesis by getting shot and getting, and getting up and up. raising his hand. Yeah, which, yeah, if, if I'm fucking right. Biden's PR team, I'm like, fuck, he got us with yeah. that one. <laughs> and at that point, there's just no justification you can make because this is not about policies or who you think is better moral standing. This is about who is literally has the life force to even do the job. Look, if I, uh, yeah. It just seems like such a like. How did the bar fall so low? Really, really fucking like low. the the standard is literally just. Can you just get your blood pressure can above? You walk like independently for, up and downstairs. Like come <laughs> on! Like how did we yeah, get here? Uh, like the 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 prerequisite for being president of the United States is you're just able to finish a sentence on your own. Yeah. Like come on. Yeah. To be fair, and I say this as someone who voted for Biden in 2020. Mm -hmm. In 2020, he was not like this. Yeah. So it's clearly declined since then. My bigger question, though, is how long has he fallen off the cliff? Mm -hmm. Because the debate was not the first time anyone's ever seen this. Mm -hmm. And it feels like there's very little accountability there. Like, we've just moved on to the next story. Like, oh, Kamala <laughs> and what she can do and her record and Willie Brown. and She's black. Yeah, she's black and she's Indian <laughs> and all these things. Like, you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Can we talk like, about wait, the fact, like, hold on, hold can on, we talk on. about the fact that the the current administration hid from us the fact that Biden is not mentally like, fit to do the job? Why, why people are just like, don't look here, just ah, real quick. These th these are the facts. Kamala ran in 2020 and she got no delegates because she dropped out early, mm -hmm. citing a lack of campaign funds and bad polls. Mm -hmm. So no one has ever voted for her. If you voted for her, it's because she was on the Biden Harris ticket. Mm -hmm. So where the fuck did she come from and why is she the most qualified person left in the party to lead? So in your opinion, why do you think that she got the nomination? I, I can speculate. Mm -hmm. And my speculation is just that it doesn't look good to not endorse Kamala because it's basically saying that part of our ticket choice was wrong. Yeah, so politics is no longer politics. Politics is It's optics. not about the most competent person. It's, it's about optics. making sure that you can create the most congruent narrative mm -hmm. about, oh, we've always had the two best people to run the country in office. Yeah. And, and frankly, it's like, genuinely, like, what has she actually done that is laudable and exceptional and demonstrates that she's one of the best and the brightest mm -hmm. before, besides just getting office? Mm -hmm. What has she done? I know she was attorney general. Mm -hmm. I know she was a U.S. Senator. Mm -hmm. I don't know her accomplishments. Mm -hmm. I know that VP is kind of a position where it's like, what the fuck does this person actually yeah. really do? Yeah. And it's always seems a bit made up. Yeah. But the, <laughs> one of the few roles that seemed explicit is that she's a border czar. Mm -hmm. The person who's supposed to be in charge of making sure that the border, I assume, is secure. In her case, they said she's going to deal with the root issue, which is people coming from like Guatemala, Mexico, Ecuador, by like addressing the diplomatic problems there. But I... Immigration is literally factually worse than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. More people have entered the country in the last four years than, than any of the prior years. Mm -hmm. So what has she actually accomplished? Yes. Besides having the right skin color and the right genitals mm -hmm. to appeal to a base. Do you have the answer? I don't have the answer. But I don't have the answer. That's why she's you ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. What is the furthest thing from Trump? What looks like the furthest thing from Trump? A woman. Pick 
Trump is white, so pick a black person. Yep. Trump, Trump is a man, so pick a woman. Yeah. Everybody who's like anti-Trump be like, I feel her. I resonate with her. Yeah. And, and it, it, it feels <laughs> it feels insulting. Honestly, it feels really insulting. It, it is. It is yeah. insulting. It's pandering. To, to think that like, oh, they'll, they'll fall for this. My, my first question is, again, I, I don't want to move off this point. How is it that this administration did not disclose the fact that Biden was in the state? And in fact, they said the opposite. They said he's sharp as attack, better than he's ever been. So who has been running the country? Like, what's the best argument for waiting this long to remove him? That, oh, we weren't sure until the debate that he was this bad? Yeah. The question is, like, okay, if we know, like, let's just look at the facts. If we know that cognitive decline does not happen overnight, that means that leading up to the debate, mm -hmm. there were some people who, like, saw him, like, walking into the women's bathroom a couple times. Mm -hmm. Who saw him, like, almost press the nuclear warhead when he was trying to order his fucking coffee. It's like, y'all were just going to let that keep going? You were just going to... If you saw him declining like that and you were going to let him stay in for another four years, why? And for me, my projection is the only reason you do that is because you're like, he can't actually hurt anybody because he's not the one who's actually making the decisions. So I want to introduce you all to who might be potentially your next president of the United States, Ms. Kamala Harris. And these were her first words after uh, getting the Democratic nominee for president of the United States of America. Cool. Let's do it. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. It is good to be back. It has truly been one of the greatest honors of my life to serve as vice president to our president, Joe Biden. Joe's legacy of accomplishment over his entire career is unmatched in modern history. And it is my great honor to have Joe Biden's endorsement in this race. When our middle class is strong, America is strong. But Donald Trump wants to take our country backward. He and his extreme Project 2025 agenda will weaken the middle class. This woman just said Donald Trump and his extreme Project 2025 agenda. Trump has said multiple times now that he has nothing to do with campaign uh, Project 2025. He does not endorse it, but they keep on pushing that it's his thing. If he, if him saying it's not his plan doesn't convince people, <laughs> what will? Like, how do you falsify? How do you, how do you prove a negative? And this is the problem. People are not willing to change their minds ever. Mm -hmm. She's just putting forth more narratives that are un completely unfounded and just not true. M my problem with the fact that Kamala is even the presumptive nominee mm -hmm. is that she wasn't picked democratically. She said, oh, we got support from the delegates. What about the primary where <laughs> the people actually vote? You just talk to your politician friends and they said, yeah, we'll, we'll throw just get her in, in here. Yeah, yeah I, so, let, me, let me be real with you for a second. I'm having trouble with this episode, mm -hmm. just recording this episode. I appreciate the honesty. Let's get real. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I don't actually think I've been at my best. Uh -huh. And part of it is because it's so confusing to me mm. what's going on. Not because I don't know what the fuck is going on, mm -hmm. but it's like I don't know how to communicate to people how fucked we are, <laughs> how fucked up this is, without sounding like I'm, I'm just trying to be negative. I don't think we can sit here and have a standard by the books political discussion here. Because it's not a standard by the books situation that we're in. Because, yeah, because the whole situation, the whole environment has been so poisoned mm -hmm. by the circumstances that led up to her even being in this position. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's like it actually is not about Trump anymore. Mm -hmm. This is about a dishonest administration mm -hmm. putting Biden forth as a candidate. And you can believe that he was a patsy and they set him up to go through the debate and then show the American people why Kamala needs to be there. Like, you don't even need to go into conspiracy territory mm -hmm. to believe that, hey, this is not a democratic way of choosing the candidates. Yes. So, it's not. 100%. And she's been complicit in subterfuge and deceit of the American people. And that's what I really want to talk about because I'm actually uninterested in anything she's fucking saying <laughs> because I know that her team has not been telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And do I believe that Trump's team will tell the truth? Fundamentally, I think all politicians are dishonest and that's the deeper problem. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of a massive deceit of their own party and their own constituency, which I have not seen from Trump, mm -hmm. whatever else you want to say, I can't trust this. Yes. That's foundational. Accurate. It's like you're saying you want to do these things and when you were vice president supporting someone who was in a position to do these things but could not do it because he was not mentally fit and you didn't say anything you revealed yourself to be dishonest it should start there like democrats should be furious that this has been going on democrats should say hold on i don't want to see another campaign speech 
I want to know why my president-elect has been in mental decline and you have been defending him, the press has been defending him, and everyone has been saying he's honest. That's what the discussion should be about. So before we get into like, you know, why Kamala and is she the most competent person for the job, let's look at the fact that we've all had wool pulled over our eyes. As someone who did vote for Biden, and I voted for a competent, mentally sharp Biden to be running my country from 2020 to 2024, I feel misled. Not because he went into cognitive decline, like that shit happens, but the moment that happened, they should have fessed up and said, you know what? Here's our transition plan. Kamala's gonna step up. We're gonna let Biden, you know, go to Wisconsin and retire on a ranch cause and honor him for his years of service. And now we're gonna find through a democratic process, the best Democrat to lead the party. Not the person who we can slot in without due process and say, well, look at her. She looks not like Trump, so vote for her. That is fucked up. And that's what we actually need to be talking about. You know what? When people complain that all the politicians suck, they're all fake. Well, they're meeting the standard that we as a people are setting. Exactly. When a Democratic candidate who was not democratically chosen in Kamala Harris gets put up after it's revealed that Biden is not mentally competent and that's probably been going on for at least months, maybe years, and she was part of covering it up, MSNBC was part of covering it up, CNN was part of covering it up, and then we say, why does this keep on happening to us? Because the same people who are saying, why does it keep happening to us say, fuck yeah, I'm so glad that Kamala is running, even though you didn't choose her. So what's your read on Kamala? Uh, puppet. Good show. Looks great on the the camera. Youthful, bright, big smile. Do I feel like this is somebody who can fundamentally change up the paradigm of our civilization and our American governmental system? Absolutely not. What makes you feel that she's not going to be effective? If we were going to so quickly move her into the spot of presidential nominee after Biden, then the only reason we should be able to make that decision so quickly is because it is so clear that she has that historical record. Not just because she has, you know, vice president listed on her LinkedIn, but because you're like, yo, this, she's been doing it. Yeah, she's been doing it. And it's like, that's just not the case. I think my misgiving with is more about, I don't know what the fuck the Democratic Party has been doing, but they haven't been honest. At least since Biden's been in cognitive decline, yeah. she's been complicit in that, so I don't trust her. I don't think she's been doing her job. And her job, first and foremost, is not to be a, another proponent of the current president. Mm -hmm. It's to serve the country. And if she saw this going on with Biden, mm -hmm. and she did not, she did not whistle blow, mm -hmm. she did not stand up. And I know that's tremendously difficult in a political environment, but she didn't do it. But if you did that, I would constitute that as you having a historical record of high integrity. Exactly, and she's she's negligent by association yeah. to me. And I'm willing to be convinced. You know, you got four months to really earn it, but it's going to be a tall tall order. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. Uh, not even just tuning into the episode. If you're watching this, it's because you actually care. Right? Like most people are like, oh, 15 minutes or I got to learn about American politics. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to vote for blue. Like, I appreciate that you care enough to watch this episode mm -hmm. um, because I don't think that a revolution or anything positive happens without people caring. Mm -hmm. So thank you for caring. Um, and if you really care, you subscribe. Yeah. Bye. See you, niggas. <laughs>